welcome back to a new video um, today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal because obviously I'm not working in a garage I'm not working on a car or anything but I am doing something that, that ultimately is, is probably the most important thing that I'm going to be doing on the car and that's trying to get the right match for the paint I've ordered paints twice now and the, the colours just not been right so I've been in touch with a, a localish company that's over in Stockport that reckons they can match the paint for me so what I'm doing is I've polished up the fuel filler flap and they reckon they'll do an analysis on it and they'll basically match that paint for me and that should leave me with the right colour it's a little bit more expensive than just ordering the paint but for me I think it's going to be worth it I need it to match the insides I don't want to have to paint the entire car so I don't want to do around all the, the door shuts and everything the front doors are getting done it's the rears and that I don't want to have to touch hopefully this company is going to going to do me some good justice and do the car justice as well um, all I want is that right colour of paint they said that I'm going to have to leave it with them um, and that I've got to post it through a little flap or hand it through a flap obviously with social distancing at the moment so happy to do that which is why I've, I've obviously picked that little bit that little fuel flap um, I'll try and cut in when I get to the place I'm only a couple of minutes away now and then I'll show you where we're, where we're dealing with and if they're any good I'll put a link in the description if they're not I won't but they sound, they sound like they're good they sound like they know what they're doing I think we should just be coming near it now ah oh, car colours I don't know if you can see in the, in the corner there oh there's a little flat there Mind if I just pull up on the double yellows here for a second? Alright, so this this is the, the flat. I have polished it to try and get a, a better finish on it, and I'm hoping that it's gonna do it justice. I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. So th this is the, the little flap that I'm gonna be posting it so you can just see it. I've get it there and that's where I'm post well handing it to them I'll show you the front I think you can just see the sign if I zoom in up there car colors it's over in uh, Stockport right just dropped off the sample giving me details he said he could have it done in an hour could be a couple of days but I've told him I'm in no rush and I want the color perfect Um. His words to me were, when I asked him how close he's going to get it, is it'll be as close to perfect as he can possibly get. So it's given me a little bit of confidence. I've also found that within sort of 15, 20 minutes of my house, there's a place that sells all consumables for body shops. So if I need any bits and pieces, it's down the road. So hoping this is a, a decent connection and he'll be able to supply me with anything that I need in the future so I've got quite a couple of quite a, quite a couple quite a few where uh, future projects planned so let's hope for the best and as you can see I've picked up the paint I've got my fuel flap invoice it cost me 80 pound for the paint, 12 pound for five liters of thinners, plus the vat, so it worked out 110 pound 40 for five liters of paint, five liters of high quality thinners. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the tin, just take a small sample, pop it on the uh, the flap and we'll just see how good a quality it is. I'm really hoping for the best. All right, because um, I've literally just picked up the paint, Right, because I've literally just picked up the paint, I'm not going to be stirring it. I just want to get a, an idea as to 
how good it is. And I'm not going to be adding any thinners or anything. First impressions, in fact, I may stir this. First impressions are it's a lot closer to to what the the other match was. Let me go and get a stirrer. Alright, back with some to stir the paint with. Because it has just been done. I'm not overly bothered. And you can actually see, I'll show you in a second, but where some of the paint's dripped and dried there. The colour is is pretty good. Let's have a see. do leave that on there to dry but I think we're pretty close Show you that. Obviously, that's wet. Could do with thinning that out a bit, to be fair. Should have used a brush. While it's wet. close but we'll see come back in a couple of hours I've just put a dab of the paint that came from the other company on just to show you what the difference is before I show you the next but the next color which is underneath there now take this off I'll show you the new color and that's the new one absolutely massive difference and we're in a really really well lit garage when you get it in different angles, the colour just gets better and better. I'm really, really pleased with it. The company that did it for me is Car Colours Limited, and that's in Stockport. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description if I can, uh, if I can figure out how to do it, because they've done a, a really good job that I think, to be honest with you, I think is a reasonable price as well. So £110.40 to paint the entire car is absolutely spot on. Now, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm currently rebuilding this 6,201 mile from new Austin Metro. The rest of the series is, is on the channel. I'm currently up to episode 11 i've got episode 12 that should be ready this week please do like and subscribe